you know what, guys? Let me let me give you a task, and the first one who solves it will get a fifty dollars Amazon card. So this uh, uh, session will be on YouTube in the next few days, and if you have the answer, push it in the comment below. The first comment that's coming with the answer. Leave also your, or send me your email so people won't spam you. Send me your email, $50 Amazon card is yours. There are some cases that you will need to have two workflows. One workflow is supposed to initiate another workflow. So let's say that I have here workflow one. Uh, that will be on the leads. So let's call it workflow, workflow one. And this is just for people that want to have some so excitement in their lives. So let's say that I have here one workflow. It's being initiated on creation. And it's happening on only. It doesn't really matter. But it's just workflow that's taking action. Let me make some kind of a condition. Otherwise, it will just drive me nuts all the time. OK, so let's say the city is not empty. OK. and. Now I am going to create a field update. And the field update will be change country. And the country will be Canada. Okay, so for the ones that knows uh, workflows, when a new lead is being created and the city is not empty, I want the country to become Canada automatically. So this is workflow number one. Oh. Workflow number two that I want to take place. It's when when the country is Canada, for example. I want it to send an email. It doesn't matter which email, but I want an email to be sent. Now, logically, one workflow is setting Canada as the country, so workflow two is supposed to take place. The only problem is that Zo are not letting one workflow initiate another workflow. So there is a way around it. Okay, so if you're able to solve this problem and you're able to trigger workflow two based on workflow one, $50 Amazon card is yours.